Hi, I'm Evan Stanek, SolidWorks Electrical Applications Engineer with Graphic Systems. Today we're going to look at one-line diagrams, one of the core features of SolidWorks Electrical that some people take it, some people leave it. I'll show you an extra use of it that you may want to include on your next project. If you've looked around lately, everything has an IP address, your car, your furnace, your refrigerator, your thermostat, and probably your next upcoming electrical project might have a host of them as well. And it's good to have a hold on what those IP addresses will be and who needs that information right from the outset of a project. We often talk about collaborating with mechanical engineers and uh, this is another collaboration that can happen as well that SolidWorks Electrical can neatly display for you. So as we look at our one line diagram, I've set up a really simple example here, just an ethernet switch with a couple of data cards that are connected as well. I created these data cards from scratch. And uh, if you need more information on that, we actually have a great blog at the bottom of the solid notes page that Claire has done. So I've just uh, taken a symbol, added a couple of attributes that will be helpful for displaying. And some of these attributes as well will be able to show up on our final bill of materials. Uh, I created a symbol for the ethernet switch here as well. And then I went about assigning manufacturer part. So a manufacturer part I brought in uh, quite simply, if you go to manufacturer parts manager, you can create parts in there by manually entering the data, or you can set up all that information in a table like an Excel sheet and import it, which is what I did in this case. So here's my fake uh, Allen Bradley data card. And here's the information that I imported as well. And once I have that information, if we go back here, you'll notice I've uh, put in a field there called IP address and uh, populated it with what I want the IP address of this particular unit to be. So this is component level data, by the way, and you can customize that user data field just by going to customize and under user data here, it previously said user data one. So instead I changed that label to say IP address. And now once we have that information, we can go to all of our uh, symbols that are in this project. Customize that information. And now once we go to our bill of materials, you can see here I've added just a column that says component user data zero. That's that field that I was talking about, the IP address field. And all of that information is now displayed. So you can share this information with whoever needs it on the project and you won't have any conflicts with your IP address and you can also get started with some of the programming elements in your project.